All right, it's been a year. It's been a year. Can you believe that? Since the last time we did inside the barracks. All right, so we can completely redid everything. We redid the concrete, as many of you guys know. We had to rip it out to it's to the dirt and re-pour the concrete, which is really expensive. We repainted the walls, put this hip here, quarter pipe hip, because a lot of people were wanting some quarter pipes. We still have the manual pad with the flat bar. That's pretty good. We have a bold corner now over here. It's really steep, almost to vert. We have some benches. Rob Dyrdek brought over some benches. Watch out for the ledge right behind you. We got a ledge. This is actually the same old ledge. This is the Guy Mariano ledge. He paid us $300 to build this ledge because he wanted a longer ledge. We built it. He gave me a check and I lost it. Still got the flat bar. That's a good one. We we're trying to figure out how to make it permanent, but Right now, it's just still on its legs. Honestly, I've done one trick on this in the entire time that we've had this. I don't even really skate it that much, but obviously, as you can see, it gets skated. Um, I, I've hurt, I hurt my ankle since the last time you saw me. Uh, so I was out for eight months. We got like a bump to a flat bar, which I've not even done one board slide on for some reason. Uh, I've, we've got a handrail which I think I've done one front side board side on. There's a bank over here. You can hit this side of the ledge, which I've never hit, but as you can see, many people have. Uh, I tend to stick over here into the flat ground. Here's one thing that was a complete debacle here in the barracks. It was uh, our Euro gap, which Eric Ellington named the bookshelf. Uh, this is quite possibly the worst step up, the worst Euro gap ever made in the, probably the history of skateboarding. I mean, let's just for, let's just look to see how how big the gap is. It's a, uh, it's not even two of my feet. So, and then as far as uh, as far as height wise, let's let's see uh, height wise. Yeah, I see, I wear a size nine, and uh, this is smaller in height than my shoe on its heel. I can with confidence say this is the worst Euro gap ever made. Um, but we did put some really nice uh, angle iron right here so you could grind the cross stick, uh, which no one ever does. Uh, there's a big hip right here. That's really cool. The hip is actually pretty good and the bank's really fun. You can drop in on the bank, get some speed. So here we have a pretty wide platform here to, uh, to hit these stairs. We have a stair. This is a little bit better of a step up right here. We have this removable ramp. The hubbas. The hubbas are kind of the same as the hubba with rails that were here. We actually just took the old hubba with the rail and built hubbas around it. It's actually the exact same pitch, the exact same stairs as before. Only this time we've made it wider and we put a removable handrail. You see these things right here? You can put handrails, we have a square and a round one that are in the storage room, which I'll show you later. And you can put rails in there. Over here is a gap. We're gonna put some grass, but we ran out of patience and just wanted to skate and it probably cost too much. These tough economic times, the last thing you're going to spend your money on is some fake grass. Uh, step down here and we got the ledges off stairs. Like We kind of had ledges off stairs before but it was four stairs. These are two. And we wanted to put like a Pier 7 kind of manual pad like up in San Francisco or like they used to have in San Francisco. I don't know if it's still skatable. Um, to do manuals from kind of make it low enough so it's kind of easier to get on and then high enough at the end so you could flip out of tricks. And uh, kind of a cool bonus to that is you can take this, lift it up, there we go. You put pins in here and then they stick up here and you can do tricks off the end. That's on both sides. But I can't find the pins. And then you can come off the ledge, off the wall, 
and this is the big vert wall that we're hoping Tony Hawk will drop in on one day. He came here a couple weeks ago and said he would drop in on it, but uh, uh, he would need for that to be destroyed so he could have a nice runway.